Dimensions can be created for individual rooms using the Auto Room Dimension tool. Select a room and then click the Auto Room Dimension tool on the Edit toolbar. This will generate dimensions for this room. Depending on the dimension default in use, we will get different results. In the Floor Plan View Shell Saved Plan View, the overall dimension defaults are used so the Auto Room Dimensions will only locate walls and the dimensions are drawn inside of the room. In the Kitchen and Bath Plan View, the Kitchen and Bath Dimension Defaults are in use, so the Auto Room Dimension tool will draw dimensions that locate the walls, doors, windows, and the dimensions are drawn outside of the room. We can control this behavior by adjusting the settings in the Saved Dimension Default. To determine which default is currently in use, we can look at our Saved Plan View specification. A Saved Plan View is a collection of settings and layers arranged for a particular type of view. If we open our project browser, we can easily see the different Saved Plan Views in the Plan Views folder. In the Kitchen and Bath template, we'll see 7 Plan Views. In the Residential template, we'll see 12 Plan Views. You might have more or less if you've customized your template or migrated a template forward. We can also see the different saved plan views by clicking the Saved Plan View drop-down on the toolbar. Each one of these plan views has a purpose. That purpose is usually a specific view that is desired on our layout or construction document. When we think about dimensions, we need to think about how we want the final view on our layout sheet to look. The dimension tools are optimized for each view so as to take the fewest steps possible to get to the desired result. We can edit a saved plan view by right-clicking on the plan view in the project browser and then clicking Edit View. Or by clicking the Edit Active View button on the toolbar to the left of the saved plan view drop-down. In the Plan View specification, on the Selected Defaults panel, we can see the currently active dimension defaults. We can edit the selected dimension default by clicking on the button with the pencil icon. On the left, we can see a selection of panels for each type of dimension tool. For Auto Room Dimensions, there are two panels we're interested in, Set Up Automatic and Locate Auto Room. On the Setup Automatic panel, we can see the section for Room. These are controls for the automatic behavior of the Auto Room Dimensions. When we created Room Dimensions while in the Floor Plan View shell, Saved Plan View, we saw dimensions locate only walls and were drawn inside the room. In this list, we can see that Overall Dimensions selected, and below that, Inside Room is selected. This supports what we saw earlier. On the Locate Auto Room panel, we can see that wall surfaces are selected. This means it will locate the wall surface. If Wall Dimension Layer was selected instead, it would locate the Wall Dimension Layer, which is typically the framing or structural layer of the wall type. Continuing down in this panel, we can see that Outer Dimension is unchecked and the list of locatable objects in the Inner Dimension list has nothing checked once again confirming that the dimension will only be locating walls. Let's close this and switch back to the Kitchen and Bath Plan View. Edit the Active View to get into the Saved Plan View specification. Go back to the Selected Defaults panel and select Edit for the Kitchen and Bath Dimension Defaults. On the Setup Automatic panel, we can see a few more items are checked in the Room section. Overall Dimension, Outer Dimension, Auto Refresh, Allow Duplicates, and we can see that the Dimension Line Position is set to Outside Room. Moving to the Locate Auto Room panel, we can see that the Outer Dimension box is checked and the Outer Dimension list is set to locate the center of fixtures while the Inner Dimensions is set to locate the casing on openings. The Kitchen and Bath Dimension defaults have been set up to follow NKBA guidelines, so if you are a National Kitchen and Bath Association member, you probably won't need to make any modifications in the Kitchen and Bath Dimension defaults.
However, if you've migrated a plan or template forward from an earlier version of Chief Architect, the auto room dimensions may behave differently, especially if you are accustomed to using the NKBA auto dimensions. The NKBA Auto Dimension tool was merged with the Auto Interior Dimension tool to create the Auto Room Dimension tool we have now. Since the NKBA Auto Dimension tool was not tied to a specific dimension default, if you migrate forward a plan or template created in a prior version, a new dimension default called Legacy NKBA Dimension Defaults will be created. If you use the NKBA Auto Dimension tools for your kitchen and bath plans in a prior version and you are migrating a plan or template forward, we recommend switching to the Legacy NKBA Dimension default for these views.